Are you a vapor out there watching who's looking for a simple kit? It comes with a tank, a mod, it does not have temperature mode, just know that. It only has regular waters mode, you get a good amount of waters, it's got a built-in LiPo battery, 3300 milliamp hour battery, I mean, you get kick-ass battery life, but you're looking for a mod that does that, you're looking for a tank that is tried and true, practically leak-proof, I haven't had any leakage, you're looking for all that, you may be liking this Cool Fire 4 Plus kit, oh yeah. Woo, she's a beaut, isn't she, boys and girls? But yeah, I've got the .5 ohm cool head in this ice sub apex tank. I'm vaping around 23 watts and I got the airflow wide open all across the board. So you know what, before I go over the pros and the cons for this kit, I'm going to go ahead and dive down, show you this thing up close and personal, then we'll come back, I'll talk about those pros and the cons, and I'll let you know if I lost this sucker right here today, when I go out tomorrow and buy one. Alrighty, so here's the Cool Fire 4 Plus packaging for this Inokin kit. Okay, now, in my opinion, I think this is Inokin's best packaging job, right up there with the Kanger Tech packaging, super clean, super professional. Love the wrap around the box, it's got this pearlesque finish, as you guys can see. Got the warning label on the side, which is always a good thing. Sleeve comes off the box, and then on the front, you got Cool Fire 4 Plus Complete Vaping System. And then on the back, you got some specs. Pop the lid, and then inside we got our Cool Fire 4 Plus mod and an Apex, an iSub Apex tank. And then underneath that, what do we got? Oh, we got a USB cord for charging, a Cool Fire 4 Plus user manual, ooh, and some Inokin stickers. Alrighty, so here's the packaging for this iSub Apex tank. At the top, it says Prism Flavor. It says recommended wattage 20 to 35 watts, and that's with the two coil heads that come with this, obviously. It comes with two 0.5 ohm coil heads, which I'm going to show you in a second. But yeah, here's the back of the box. Peak performance. Performance. But included in that box is a card, and on the front of the card is a user manual which shows you how to install your coil head, how to fill this tank up. And then on the back, there's a warning, okay? And the warning basically says there's small parts that come with this tank. Keep out of reach of children. Keep out of reach of pets. Do not use it for your mechanical mods. This tank is used for e-liquid only. All that good stuff. So here she is, boys and girls. Here is the iSub Apex tank. It comes with an extra stainless steel glass drip tip, and it also comes with an extra 0.5 ohm coil head. But yeah, underneath that extra coil head, you also receive extra o-rings so here's the extra 0.5 ohm cool head that comes with this kit okay you got your airflow down to the base running parallel here are your feed holes one on one side one on the other at the top you got a screen to prevent spit back and in there you got your horizontal coil but inside there you got organic japanese cotton as you're wicking recommended vape 20 to 35 watts and the cool head that's already pre-installed into the tank is the exact same cool head as this one so here's a close-up view of this iSub apex tank few specs for you she's 22 millimeters in width and she's 60.5 five millimeters in height with the Delrin drip tip. So check it out, you got your adjustable airflow up top. You got your slot on one side, your slot on the other, the adjustable airflow ring, perfect amount of restrictiveness, I love it. Whatever you adjust on this side is gonna obviously be the same on this side, but what makes this thing what it is, okay, is not only the fact that you got your adjustable airflow up top, but this thing is a tank within a tank. It's a magnificent design. You see the juice just, I mean, just flowing down here. It's never gonna come out of these slots because you got a Pyrex tank on the outside and then you got a Pyrex tank on the inside for your e-liquid. Okay, so the tank on the inside holds your juice. The tank on the outside is your airflow. I mean, your airflow runs from the top all the way down, down through the cool head and up to your wick and cool. Perfect for the newbie. Any newbie vapor can use this without having to worry about leaking. Hell, any vapor can use it without worrying about leaking. You unscrew it from the base. You got an O-ring right here to seal everything in. I mean, look at that. So you got two slots. That's your air channels, your air channel. So I could tilt it upside down like this and it's not leaking anywhere. Leak proof, baby, leak proof. But here's your coil head. And what you do is you just pull the coil head out, it press fits in, and inside there, woo look at that, that channel right there, that's where your juice is on both sides. And that feeds your wick to your coil. That's how it works. So you press fit it in, you gotta make sure you line the flat sides up first. It's not lined up, so I turn it just a little bit, and boom, she's lined up. She's gotta sit flush. Another kick-ass feature to this is it's got top filling. To open the top fill, all you do is grab the top and turn it. And boom, she clicks open. You see that? Go ahead and fill her up. Pop my dropper in there or my bottle tip. Close her up. 
and it'll click into place. You know it's locked and we're rocking and rolling. She holds three mils of juice, by the way, and to me, that's a good amount of juice. I gotta mention that as a pro. I, you know, three mils will last me all day easy. But for some of you guzzlers out there, you're probably not gonna like it. I know some of you guys out there want four, five, six mil tanks. You're not gonna get that with this. And another pro I do wanna mention that I know I'm not gonna mention in FaceTime is the ease of use. Being able to pull these coal heads out, like I showed you, you take this thing off, I mean, I'm able to pull this out while this thing is filled with juice. There's a lot of tanks out there. You can't do that. Pop this one out, put another brand new one in there and you're rocking. And you can do it all while this thing is completely filled. That's awesome. That's convenient. And another pro I do want to mention, even though you cannot take this thing apart when I received it, it did not have any machine oil. One rinse, one wash, and I was good to go. So yeah, here is the Delrin drip tip that also comes with this kit. It's double O-ringed at the base. At the top, it's got a nine millimeter bore, about a nine millimeter bore. And at the bottom, it tapers down to about six millimeters. So here's the extra drip tip that comes with this kit okay it's stainless steel slash pyrex you got these air slots one on one side one on the other which is pretty much worthless for this i sub apex tank but the bore at the top is about seven millimeter in diameter and it tapers down at the bottom to about six and a half millimeter in diameter and if i go to pop this drip tip in the tank watch what happens it just plugs those holes up there's no airflow at the top again this is the newer version but with the stainless steel slash glass drip tip that's installed she's about 63.6 .6 millimeters in height and also i do want to mention this this drip tip is a little loose man the other one the Delrin fits perfect. This is just a little bit wobbly. To me, I like the Delrin better, so I use it more, and it fits perfect. So here's the Cool Fire 4 Plus mod that comes with this kit. She's about 87 millimeter by about 52 millimeter by about 25 millimeter. At the top, you got your stainless steel threads and gold-plated spring-loaded 510 pin. So on the back of this mod, you got holes for battery venting at the bottom and the top. It rounds out down here in the center. It just feels good in the old palm. I mean, look at it. Ergonomic. It kind of thins out in the middle, which just makes it feel even better. But on the side, you got your fire button, you got your mini screen, you got your waters up, waters down buttons, and your USB port down the bottom. Here's the base of this device. And then on the front, as you guys saw before, it says Cool Fire 4 Plus. Again, there's the top of the device. So right now, this device is off, okay? Click the fire button, it's gonna say off. Click three times to turn her on. One, two, three. Behind the fire button, you see these lights blinking? Okay, that's the battery indicator. So green, green that means fully charged. Yellow means halfway charged. And then red means you need to charge this sucker. But also, I wanna point this out. Look at the fire button. You got Inokin's logo on the fire button. Check it out, Inokin's logo. Right now, it says 23.5 watts. It's got the battery gauge all the way to the right, your resistance and your voltage down here, as you guys can see. Now, if you want to switch it to voltage all you do is hold down the fire button and the waters down button down at the same time while this device is on and it switches it to voltage now while it blinks that means you can adjust it and in voltage you can adjust her in 0.1 increments if i hold her down she scrolls on her own so the max is 7.5 volts the minimum is 2 volts And when we are in voltage mode, you can see the resistance, the wattage, the voltage, and the battery indicator. To switch it back to wattage mode, all you do is hold down the fire button and the wattage up button down at the same time while this device is on. Okay, and we're back in wattage mode. And while she's blinking, you can scroll. 0.5 increments. Or you can hold her down. And this thing vapes between 6 watts and 70 watts. But yeah, once you hit that fire button, and right now it says check atomizer because nothing's on there. Once you hit the fire button, you can't scroll. You see that? You have to hold down these buttons until it blinks to scroll. You know what? Another thing I do want to show you guys, you can round robin in wattage mode or voltage mode. Okay, let me show you. Right now she's at 70 watts. Hold the wattage up button till she blinks. Okay, now, boom, 6 watts. Boom, 70 watts. So if I scroll down, hold her down, 70 watts. Now I'm going to go into voltage and show you. 7.5, baby. 2 volts. I love it! So I went ahead and popped this iSub Apex tank on here. I've got her set to 23 watts. Here we go. Whenever I fire her up, you're going to see a counter. And obviously the resistance and the voltage all the way to the left because we're in wattage mode. See that? Now to go ahead and flip the screen, we could do that. While this device is on, hold down the wattage up, wattage down buttons down at the same time. And she's flipped. Do the same thing to flip her back. And that number you see, 1, is how many times I've fired it since I turned this device on. So that right there is an up-close look at this Cool Fire 4 Plus kit. Let's go ahead and take her back to FaceTime. First, the cons. The mod that comes with this kit does not have temperature control, and for me, temperature control is a big part of my vaping life. I gotta have it. And also, this mod does not have upgradable firmware. And lastly, every device that I screw onto this mod, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap. There's even a little bit of a gap with this iSub Apex tank, which comes with this kit. Now, as far as the cons go for this tank, as you guys saw in the close-ups, you cannot disassemble this sucker. And for some of you vapors out there, you're not 
not gonna like it. For some of you other vapors out there, you're gonna love it. It's all subjective. And then the last con I found for this tank, and this is gonna be super nitpicky, but it does not come with an RBA section. And you know what? I did not mention that in my last video, or one of my last videos on the Vapor Resso tank, the kit. Okay, that did not come with an RBA section. That's gotta be mentioned as a con. This does not come with an RBA section. For some of you vapors out there, you're not gonna give a flying fart. But for me, even though these cool heads, the pack of cool heads for this tank are like cheap, eight, nine bucks, what if you can't get them? What if they're out of stock? Hey, with an RBA section, I got plenty of wire, I got plenty of cotton. I could go build, 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 and be good. And I know that's an extreme situation, but I'm an extreme type of guy. Now the pros, and there's quite a bit of them. First of all, this mod is ergonomic, man. It feels good in the old hand. The function buttons are nice and clicky, comfortable. The menu screen is super easy to read. It's super easy to navigate. It's big, bright, and beautiful. And as you guys saw in the close-ups, the USB port is on the front and not on the bottom, which means it's easy to charge. And also, this USB port does have pass-through, which also means you can plug it to your computer and you could charge it and vape it at the same time. To me, I don't prefer doing that, but they give you that option. And for you color lovers, these kits right here come with different color options. Check it out. And as far as the pros go for the tank, okay, first of all, this thing is pretty much leak proof. Unless you break one of the tanks, the inner tank and the outer tank, you're not going to have any leaking. I haven't had any leaking, and it's because the air, way, the way this thing is designed, first of all, but the airflow sits at the top. You got the dual airflow, and to me, you get plenty of airflow. I mean, it could use a little more airflow, especially for those big-time lung hitters. It's about like the sub-tank mini wide open. Filling this thing up is super easy. It's got top filling. It's just fantastic. Also, this tank is fit on all my mods, been compatible, sat down down flush made a connection it goes with two 510 drip tips that's another big plus you could take it out take both of them out and use your standard 510 drip tips which is a biggie 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 for me and as far as the coil heads that come with this kit the 2.5 ohm coil heads go each one lasts me a little over a week about a week and a day a week and two days that's uh, that's four or five hours a day for each one and i mean that's pretty good it's not the best i've ever had it's not the worst i've ever had so like i said i'm seeing this thing sell between 60 and 70 bucks online and you know in the description i'll post links to where you can find these suckers now on the big question, the big answer of the day. Hey, Rip, if you'd have lost this sucker today, would you go out tomorrow and buy one? And the answer is, okay, this is going to be a little bit of a hard one because it does not have temperature control. Here's the deal. If I was looking for a device that had temperature control, I would not buy it. If I was looking for a device that did not have temperature control, hell yeah, I'd buy it. I mean, the combination of this tank with this mod, I can't knock it, even if it doesn't have temperature control. Like I said, it's been tried and true. I've used this for a month and I've been thoroughly enjoying it. So do you consumers out there watching know this? If you are looking for a temperature control device, this is not not for you, but if you're looking for a device that does not have temperature control, you don't care, you just want the wattage, this thing is kick ass and it may be for you. This is Rip Trippers and remember smoking is dead, vaping is the future and the future is now. Alright, so now onto the giveaway, that's right, I'm giving away three of these kits, I'm giving away a silver kit, I'm giving away a blue kit, and I'm giving away a black kit, and the only place that you can participate is over at RipTrippers.com, RipTrippers.com, okay, go to RipTrippers.com, click on the giveaways, and you'll see this three kit giveaway right here, okay, click on the title of that giveaway, and then down at the bottom, you'll see a comment section, that is where you participate, okay, do not participate here, I'm gonna repeat, do not participate on on this channel. If you participate on this channel, you will be disqualified. Got it? So to you vapors out there that actually listen to what I'm saying and read the instructions, good luck to you.